coupling and uncoupling procedures for the Holland FW70 fifth wheel. We'll begin with a proper coupling procedure. Prior to coupling, an inspection must be performed on the fifth wheel and mounting bracket to verify the following. Tighten any loose fasteners. Replace missing or broken fasteners. Repair or replace any missing, cracked, or otherwise damaged components. Clean the grease grooves if a large amount of debris is present. Lubricate fifth wheel to trailer contact surfaces if needed. Inspect the fifth wheel locking mechanism. Lubricate dry or rusty components. For a sliding fifth wheel, ensure that both plungers are fully engaged. Inspect any airline connections. Ensure that the fifth wheel is in the appropriate position for weight distribution on the tractor. Next, ensure that the coupling area is flat, level, and clear of people and obstacles. Tilt the ramps of the fifth wheel downward as shown here. Ensure that the fifth wheel lock mechanism is open. Next, chalk the trailer wheels. Before positioning the tractor, take time to visually inspect the trailer upper coupler plate. Ensure that it is free of scrapes or gouges, and that the leading edge of the trailer bolster or skid plate is free of any damage or sharp edges. Then, inspect the kingpin. Make sure the kingpin is not obstructed by a lock or security device that needs to be removed. The kingpin should be perfectly straight and not show any signs of damage. Periodically check the kingpin for excessive wear using a kingpin gauge available from SAF Holland. Return to the cab and position the tractor so the center of the fifth wheel is aligned with the kingpin. Be sure the tractor and trailer are in a straight line. Never back under at an angle as you could push the trailer sideways and damage the landing gear. Traveling in a straight line, slowly back the tractor up to the trailer but stop the tractor before making contact with the trailer. Place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. Completely exhaust the air from the tractor suspension. Exit the cab and verify proper fifth wheel height and that it is below the upper coupler plate. If the trailer is too low, use the landing gear to raise the trailer height. Note. For proper operation of the landing gear, follow the instructions published by the landing gear manufacturer. Now, slowly back up, using the lowest gear possible. Stop when the fifth wheel is under the leading edge of the trailer, ensuring not to contact the kingpin. Adjust the tractor air suspension to ride height. Important: Never inflate the tractor suspension when the kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel. Caution: Inflating the tractor suspension when the fifth wheel is not forward of the kingpin could result in damage to the kingpin and fifth wheel. Place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. Exit the cab and verify there is no gap between the fifth wheel top plate and trailer upper coupler plate. If the fifth wheel does not make complete contact with the upper coupler plate, use the landing gear to lower the trailer until the fifth wheel makes contact. Important: If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not properly connect with the lock mechanism. Warning: Failure to couple with the trailer at the proper height could result in improper coupling, allowing tractor-trailer separation which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Also ensure that the fifth wheel and kingpin are properly aligned for coupling. Return to the cab. Now slowly back into the trailer, engaging the kingpin into the fifth wheel. Place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. Exit the cab and connect any air and electrical lines. Raise the landing gear legs until the pads are just above the ground as seen here. Return to the cab and perform a pull test as an initial check by locking the trailer brakes and pulling forward with the tractor to ensure that tractor-trailer separation does not occur. Again, place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. 
exit the cab and visually inspect to be sure the kingpin is firmly seated in the fifth wheel locking mechanism and the lock is fully closed. In addition, the primary and secondary release handles should no longer be hooked onto the top plate casting. There should also be no gap between the trailer upper coupler plate and the fifth wheel as shown here. If proper coupling has not been achieved, you must repeat the coupling procedure. Warning: Failure to properly couple the tractor and trailer could result in tractor-trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Important: Do not use any fifth wheel that fails to operate properly. Warning: Failure to repair a malfunctioning fifth wheel before use could result in tractor-trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Fully retract the landing gear legs off the ground and secure the crank handle. Lastly, remove the wheel chocks and continue with the pre-trip inspection. The Holland FW70 coupling procedure is now complete. Following is the proper uncoupling procedure for the Holland FW70 fifth wheel. Begin by positioning the tractor and trailer in a straight line on flat, level ground, clear of people and obstacles. Now set the trailer brakes. Slowly back the tractor tightly against the trailer to relieve pressure on the fifth wheel locking mechanism. Place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. Important, do not exhaust air from the tractor suspension before uncoupling. Caution. Exhausting air from the tractor suspension before uncoupling could result in difficulty uncoupling the tractor from the trailer, which could result in damage to the fifth wheel and kingpin. Next, exit the cab and chalk the trailer wheels. Lower the landing gear until the pads just touch the ground. When lowering the landing gear, do not raise the trailer off of the fifth wheel top plate. Note. For proper operation and ability to transfer the trailer weight from the fifth wheel, follow the instructions published by the landing gear manufacturer. Disconnect the air and electrical lines from the trailer and secure them to the tractor. Pull the secondary lock release handle and hook on the top plate. Next, pull the primary release handle completely out and hook on the top plate casting as shown here. If you have an air release equipped top plate, set the tractor brakes and actuate the fifth wheel control valve to open the locking mechanism. Return to the cab and release the tractor parking brake and slowly pull forward 18 to 21 inches to disengage the kingpin from the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel should be between the front edge of the trailer and the kingpin. Important, do not drive the tractor free of the trailer. Place the tractor into neutral and set the parking brake. Completely exhaust the air from the tractor suspension, ensuring that the fifth wheel is below the contact surface of the trailer. Exit the cab and visually inspect the uncoupling. Ensure that the trailer is completely supported by the landing gear. There should be a visible gap between the fifth wheel top plate and trailer upper coupler plate. Once again, return to the cab and release the tractor parking brake and slowly pull away from the trailer. Apply air to the tractor air suspension to return to ride height. The Holland FW70 uncoupling procedure is now complete.